morning, everyone. So this will be the only one, I think, uh, in the, the only speech that you will listen in English, so don't worry. <laughs> this, ah, it's going to be another one. Also, Nick, right. Um, so I'm, I'm just trying to, sorry, I uh, just want to introduce you a little bit on the concept of the day that we designed together and basically give you a few hints to understand why we designed this kind of uh, experience for you. You probably <coughs> are familiar with uh, the technology disruption topic. Uh, we talk about this all the time. There will be some uh, interesting, also interesting uh, uh, speech today trying to investigate the topic of technology. But if I need to uh, resume uh, the technology drivers which are uh, behind this revolution that we are saying, I usually refer to these four, uh, four topics. Um, first, of course, you know, uh, the internet is pervasive now. Uh, you are connected everywhere, in every moment, in every context. All of your life situations are connected nowadays. Secondly, you probably know the concept of the cloud and in general, what I wanted to mean with this is that now the tools, the infrastructures you need to build innovation and to build new services, new products are really there for you to, to be used and are cheap fast, you can access, you can use, you can, uh, m you can put together uh, an innovation in, in very few moments and with very few expenses. Uh, third, data. Uh, you know, data is growing, but uh, what's interesting nowadays is that it's growing also our possibility to understand data. And it's a news of, uh, I think, uh, five days ago or something like that, that uh, Google just released its, um, uh, its uh, entire framework of uh, machine intelligence to manipulate and to understand data. So you have tools, you have data, and then finally you have, uh, I would say, uh, accessible and open software and hardware, which is modular, you can use, you can uh, uh, use these knowledge uh, interfaces to create something re really new with no cost, and everything is at, at your uh, at your availability. This is what's happening on technology, and when it comes to society, we also have a few very strong trends and very strong uh, topics that we need to understand. The first one is that our entire society is going to, is, go is moving into cities. Uh, everywhere we are seeing a very strong urbanization trend, and uh, what does it mean? It means that people is living together, people are connected, it's much more easy to have a physical interactions. You know, our cities are becoming the new hubs of, uh, of innovation. It's much more important now, where do you live, in the city do you live, uh, instead of your nationality, for example. It, it means less to be Spanish, it means more to be from Barcelona, or from Madrid, or from whatever, whatever city you, you are coming from. Uh, more, uh, you, you know, these days we are uh, approaching the days of uh, COP21 conference in Paris, climate change and the responsible approach to consumption is really, really a topic nowadays. Everybody knows that. So this is another topic we need to keep in mind. More, millennials. Hmm? Uh, we are switching generation nowadays. We are moving into the millennials generation. Millennials are really different uh, people, they uh, relate to consumption in a very different way. They don't get married, they don't uh, settle down, they travel, they change city, they change jobs. Uh, there is Antonin in the room, I, I don't see him, but he said a very interesting thing about millennials once. Uh, they don't just do six or seven jobs in their life, they do six or seven jobs in parallel sometimes. No? So their uh, um, um, habits are really changing. And this is another thing you need to keep in mind. And finally, we live the age of experiences. So uh, it's no more about products, it's no more about services. Everything is about the experience you can provide to your customer, to your user, to your partners. Uh, there is a very beautiful uh, 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 phrase by uh, Joe Pine. He said, uh, customer experience is a, an essential dimension of how a company competes. So now your company is defined by the experience that you can provide to your customers. There's nothing more. All the rest of the organization need to be shaped to provide excellent experiences. Finally, what this means for you and for your products 
means that people are expecting from you this kind of products and services. Products that are human, that interact with you as a human being, hmm, and not as a, just as a customer. Products which are relevant, so products that they can solve your problem in a way which is contextual, which is meaningful for you. The perfect product is the, is the product I don't need to, to ask for. It's the product I get you know, kind of uh, uh, provided without any uh, thinking and without any relationships. So the brand needs to be able, needs to know what is relevant for the customer. Finally, fast. Of course, you know, we live the on-demand economy. People now are uh, experiencing a relationship with products and services which is fast and, and very contextual, very, very on-demand. Finally, personal. So people need to be able to customize, to tweak the product, to choose the right solution uh, and to interact in this way and to be able to personalize their own offers. These are the four dimensions that people are expecting nowadays. So how is the business uh, world uh, responding to this in this way? Basically, all the day, we, uh, we are going to talk about this. Uh, we are going to talk about how firms are expanding their reach through platforms, leveraging the power of ecosystems. So all the message we want to give you today is that technology platforms and uh, uh, social platforms, collaboration platforms are just means for company to companies and organizations to expand their reach, to, to reach results which are way beyond the results that they could achieve if they don't leverage on the ecosystem power. <laughs> <laughs>